um, just uh, even while we're talking about this, just want to welcome the new people that's listening on the show itself, but also on Facebook Live. Uh, we love for you to interact with us and give us your comments and statements. Remember, you can do it on Facebook Live and also on WhatsApp 072 452 And we're watching and we're listening. We just got a comment by Mark El Pastor Mark Ellis. Um, Pastor Mark, I don't remember where you are. I think you're in KZN. I'm not sure. But he says, many people who use media are accused of being self-promoting. Have you avoided or remedied? How have you remedied that perspective? And that's a good question. That's a brilliant question. So you have this balance. We have this in welfare as well. Um, we need to tell people what our welfare activities are so they can buy in the vision of what we're doing. But we don't want it to be... Um, I actually have someone in my group which we were taking photos and stuff. And, and she was like, okay, so when... When do we balance this with the scripture that says the one hand is not supposed to know what the other hand is doing? So, yeah. let me hear your thoughts, then I'll share my thoughts, because that's a very good question from Pastor Mark. Thank um, you. I, I think it is about the scale of your platform. For instance, you can take that same argument for a pastor Sunday at church. He's standing on stage on a pulpit, everybody's looking up to him. Mm -hmm. um, it's exactly the same as people look at you on a computer screen so let's make it real it's just it's a different platform it's a correct? different platform it's like you you have a mega church you're preaching there's ten thousand yeah. people hypothetically mm -hmm. or there's a thousand people or whatever those people are connected to you emotionally mm -hmm. you're influencing them etc yeah. it's the same thing with media yeah and it's it still depends on that pastor or that minister um you can be a pastor in a small church where there's the congregation is 50 people but he can get full of himself and pride can take yes. over mm -hmm. and he can be the the main guy in the church or it can happen in media as well so but uh, the other side as well is you can be on so social media or on a media platform with millions of people watching and you can be down to earth and yeah. it's not about you so it really depends on that minister it can happen to anyone whether you're on social media or just a normal pastor or even not a pastor worship leader i think that's that's one thing nowadays i've seen a lot of social media um, where worship leaders became rock stars that's right um so it, it can happen in any ministry i think that is a good question um so if you're listening on, on Facebook Live, I want to make sure that you got that. If you heard um, my producer, we are still working on the tools and the technology to get everything to work well. So if you heard what he said, just give us a thumbs up so we can confirm that. Something in Pastor Mark's message uh, stood out for me. It's talking about self-promotion, right? And I think, especially on, on social media, um, I think if we keep the focus on Jesus and what He's doing, I think we'll be safe yeah. because it's not about me, it's not about you, it's about us being the vessels and doing the work of God and, and, and so on. And it comes back to your calling. Yeah. If God called you to do it, then you're obedient to Him and everything will um, go back to Him. Where If you just do it because you feel this is a great way to... To get some visibility yes, for yourself. If God didn't call you for it, yeah, then you're going to... Then why are you doing it? You're doing it for yourself, not for God. Um, so okay. you know, it goes back to, to that original.